Have I got a little nifty review for you guys today? I don't hear anything about this one. This is Lalique Pour Homme, a stellar of fragrance, coming up next. I don't have the box for this one because this is actually a tester, but in the intro, you guys saw that what, what the box looks like. This is a, the Eau de Parfum edition, and it comes in two sizes. It comes in a 2.5 like this one and a 4.2, and the prices will blow you away. You can find this for $17 right here, or um, $27, $28, under $30 bucks for the 4.225 ml. You cannot beat it, guys. Unbelievable pricing. Absolutely, guys. Yes, this one here is a cheapie, but it's a real goodie. Now, I'm going to show you why. The release date for this one was 1997, and the nose behind it, it's none other than one of my, one of my favorite perfumers, noses of all time, Maurice Roussel. What this smells like, you ask? Really heavenly. Uh, this is a woody aromatic, a little bit spicy, so it's fresh, spicy, warm, very inviting. And it's a bit powdery as it dries down. Uh, what this reminds me of? Brace yourselves. This reminds me of Creed's Bois de Portugal. Yes, it's traditional. You're going to get a traditional vibe to it. So if you like Creed's Bois de Portugal, which is over $300 for a bottle, you can get this beauty for less than $30. What are you waiting for? So I'm going to show you the notes right next to me as I tell you about the settings and occasions and best places to wear this fragrance. This has all the components of an all-year-round scent. This is great, it's inviting, it's easy to wear, easy to please. Again, more on the mature side of the spectrum, so if you don't want something that has a little bit of the mature, manly, um, not aged, but very traditional, if you don't like that, you know, then definitely stay away from this. But this is not an emalic, it's not, you know, traditional in a sense, aged. It's, it's not aged at all, it's actually, it has a nice modern twist. I mean, this was released in 97, so it's not that old, but it has that amazing traditional Bois de Portugal by Creed's feel, which is really nice. All year round scent, great for work, amazing for a signature scent, great for work. Um, you're gonna, you know, smell professional. The word for this fragrance here is professional. You want something professional? You know, this is for sure on my top five work scents for this year, and, and I'm gonna be releasing a top work scent, this is definitely gonna make the cut. It's an amazing scent, great compliment garner, and it's gonna make you smell professional and inviting at the same time, so definitely one to check out. As far as age, again, I would put this on a, I'd say 25 and up, or even 30 and up. You really need to appreciate these more traditional fragrances. Definitely man. This is not a women's uh, fragrance. Uh, by all means, if a woman wants to wear this, you'll feel free. This is a real uh, man's fragrance. This is, this is what a man's fragrance should smell. Very, very woody, aromatic, spicy, with that traditional uh, oomph, with, with some of the notes that you're going to get here that you would get with traditional fragrances such as, you know, Bois de Portugal by Creed. So that's what you're going to get with this. As far as the performance goes for this fragrance, it lasts about... Let's talk about the projection. The projection you're going to get two to three hours, and longevity I get about four to six with the EDT. This is the EDP, the Eau de Parfum. You can get an extra two hours on top of that. And if you spray your clothes, you're gonna get a good eight to 10, which is really not bad for the price of, and what you're getting with this fragrance. Definitely worth having in your arsenal for work and for a signature scent if you're so inclined. So all in all, what I get from the scent, yes, it's very similar to Bois de Portugal with its own nuances, it actually does its own thing. It's warm, it's smooth, it's classy, it's professional. If I had to pinpoint a season for this scent, I would say spring and early fall. Uh, for, for myself, you know, since I have, you know, so many choices, I, I would probably have this fragrance for spring and early fall or as a work scent. You know, your rotation and your professional, you know, work scent, this would be a great alternative uh, for you to wear, you know, at work. I think It'll garner a lot of compliments and will do that job fantastically. And especially with the price point, you can't beat it. The notes are blended to perfection. It's really well made. Uh, the fragrance smells great and it's going to give you a solage and a performance that's really, really good for the price. It's really a no-brainer. The thing is, this is very readily available. So you can find this probably in any of the websites or discount sites out there for the prices that I told you. But keep in mind that 
soon enough, this may be discontinued. And if that happens, as we all know, prices could potentially skyrocket. So get yourselves a bottle, get your nose in this when you can, and you know, let me know your thoughts in the comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know if you have smelt this, if you like the smell, what your thoughts are on the house of Lalique, and more importantly, Lalique's poor home. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. This was another rendition of Short and Sweet. I hope you liked. Please follow me on Instagram. It's going to show up right now. Thank you so much, guys. This was Max Forte. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.